Welcome back to Irish Footy Vlogs. Myself and Key and Menton are doing a talking points video today. It's uh, basically Dundalk play war for United Stephen Drew to all, but we don't want to get into that. Um, we want to get into an interview, Key, and which was done after the game. I don't know who done it. That's irrelevant with Vinnie Pert. Um, Vinnie Pert basically claims that during the match, Waterford manager John Sheridan was calling the League of Ireland the pub league and the shambles of a league. He claims that John said to his players, this is why you play in this league, because it's a fucking pub league. This is what he said, so sorry for putting in those words, lads. Um, for me, it's a total disregard, total disrespect to the league, disrespect to everybody in the league, me, you, fans, uh, the bleeding tea ladies, everybody. It doesn't matter, managers, his own players, by the way, uh, his board. Um, look, that's a, that's all I can say in it for now, Keen. What do you think? Off you go. Well, this is... I, I seen this kicked and I listened to it and I was filming. I can't believe a manager of a Premier Division club in the world is saying that about our league. Uh, it's like I'm filming here. I really am. From, for every for thousands of people in this country, this league is our life. Pats is my life. The League of Ireland is my life. And I, I think I speak and I hold the same passion as thousands of other people. Uh, for him to come out and talk like that and shout that stuff onto his players on the pitch in a League of Ireland game, it's just, I can't get my head around it. I'm boiling here, thinking of it. I'm just fuming. Uh, it's just total disrespect. Just He just has no, like, he, he's slagging his own players. He's slagging his own staff. He's slagging, like, why is he there? It's a pub league. Why is he there? I think Percy, you're probably there for a quick for a quick few, Bob. Because uh, that's the way it's looking. He's not even doing interviews after the game. Look, I've lost total respect for him. I really have. He's going to have to come out and apologise. Uh, because I think there's a lot of League of Ireland fans exactly like me tonight after listening to that. I'm not the only one. I won't be the only one. But this is our league. Look at the work that's being done in this league, Keith. Look at the work that's being done all the way through, from volunteers right up, and for somebody who's supposed to be an ex Ireland international and supposed to be like a big fig, a big figure in football, like it's it's embarrassment from his side of it. And look, I'm appalled, and I can just like I, ju I just can't even put into words with how frustrated and annoyed I am. If I was a Waterford FC fan. In itself as well. I, I wouldn't be impressed with that. In fact, I, I'd nearly be calling for his resignation, if I'm nearly honest with you, because I, it's not good enough for me. Like, it's just... And, you know, I think the worst part for me is actually the bit where Vidi Pert says that he, he was saying it to his players, that this is the reason you're playing in this league, because you're useless, basically. That That's what... It's that's the point across. Like, and by the way, Waterford were doing well in that match. They were 2-0 up for most of that match as well. And, and he's calling them essentially useless and playing the pub league. And look, if I, if I, I'll be honest with you, if I heard a manager, I think Vinny touched on that as well, that he surprised one or two of the players didn't walk off. I'm not putting up with that, like if I'm a player. Um, you know, I have to put be honest. Player, but... uh, if I was there, so I, and I think if fans were there, I think that would be trouble. Uh, I think there'll be abuse. I think yeah. there could have been chaos there because, look, the League of Ireland, with fans and all fans, we can hear everything. And I just, I think if fans were there, I think there could have been a good bit of trouble, I'd say, aimed at John because it's fully deserved. He deserves everything he gets, in my opinion. Uh, nobody Keane. comes in like that. No, I sensed Keane a few weeks ago, but I had to hold back because, you, you know, you didn't have any kind of proof, if you like, or anything like that. I sensed he was here for the quick book while the English season was off, and as soon as the season would be over, he'd be gone. And those comments would suggest that that's the case, wouldn't they? Doesn't that, in fairness? Look, like, you touched on it, Keith, and I have to say, I, I, did, I did stick up for him. I did say, look, no manager is going to disrespect the league. They're not going to get full respect. Look, you, you are right from day one. I think the attitude of him, the way, but the way he goes about himself, not even doing an interview, he's 
too big a screen. Having said that, Kane, I didn't think I was right in terms of he would go this far, though. I did, I, I, you know what I mean? I didn't think. Um, I'm, I'm even surprised by 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 that. If I'm honest with you, like, and I'm I fully it. believe. I fully believe Vinnie Pert what he came out and said. Look, Vinnie, like thousands like myself and thousands of other people, share the exact same view. I have listened to Vinnie uh, doing a number of podcasts over lockdown, and the like the passion he has for the league. It's inspired, and I'm the exact same. Yeah, he's not going to make that up. I mean, that's such a... You're not going to make that up, trust no, me. No, and I'm... Like, I, I just can't believe it, to be honest with you, that we're sitting here talking about a Premier Division manager. Let's uh, let's listen. They're, they're 2-0 up in Oriel Park in the home of the champions. And he's saying that, like, I, I'm just... Look, I'm fuming tonight. I think a lot of League of Orla fans are. That's why I said we had to get on. We had to talk about this. We had to get it out there. And, like, I'm not holding back. Yeah, you've big characters in the dressing room, the likes of Brian Murphy. I'd like to know what he thinks of this. Yeah, like, look, for thousands of people, this league is our life. We need to mind this league. We need to take care of it. We don't need people like him. Look, I don't... It's I bad think enough, if, bad enough being guys on the outside disrespect and slagging the league. I can take that to a degree because yeah. they're on the outside and they're not part of it. But people inside, as Vinny says, there is problems in the league, we all know that. But to come in and have that attitude, you know, calling it a public look, throughout the game. Honestly, down, is he not concentrating on managing his team, by the way? Keith, like, honestly, oh, we don't care if there's problems in this league. I don't care how, what the issues are. I don't care how, how bad it is. It's our league. And this is our league. And it's our league to mind. And nobody, nobody comes in and says that about our league. They, they don't. And they shouldn't. Uh, I, do, I don't think he should be here tomorrow. No, I don't think so. I really don't. I don't think he should be here tomorrow. I think he should come out and apologise, first of all, to his players and staff, first of all, then to his club, and then to the rest of the fans and the League of Ireland. Because I think his his comments were absolutely disgraceful. I I just can't get my head around it. And look, I don't want him. He's not welcome in this league, if that's his attitude. No, I was completely taken aback now, to be honest with you. And it is shocking. I mean, you know, you're trying to promote the league, the likes of we're trying to promote the league as well and you hear the likes of that for someone within the league you know what I mean and what annoys me about it is John Sheridan was a player I've seen play and a bit like what Vinnie Pert was saying a lot of respect for John Sheridan very good footballer do you know what I mean so it sickens me when someone like that comes out and uh, this is the league like that it's just uh, it's just not on like I, I don't know have you anything else to say Nakeen? <laughs> it's just disrespectful and I think yeah. it's disrespectful to everybody, not only not only the, in the league, outside the league as well. To like imagine now, right? If you're an English bar stool or as they as they say, uh, and you're looking now, I know for a fact this is gonna hit the papers tomorrow. Yeah. And look, the people now obviously they won't be sitting in a pub, but yeah, they'll be reading the paper. They'll be reading the paper and they'll be like, Look, we were right after all. Listen. There's no time for it. There's no room for it in this league. It's our league. We need to mind it. We need to get these type of people out of the league. I've no respect for John, and I don't think I will for a long time. He has to come out and apologise. You're dead right, because yeah, those people see John Sheridan come out with comments like that without looking into anything. They'll see that and go, yeah, look, there you go. We're right. John Sheridan's saying it. And that's what the killer is as well, because he's a high-profile name. That makes it worse um, than if if it was somebody. Yeah. like I said, this league is people's lives, Keith. This this league is people's livings. All these players, all these, we all love the league. Fans, we go week in, week out. We travel up and down the country. I don't, personally, I don't care if you go to Oriel and it's probably not the greatest. I don't care. That's I'm there to support my team. It's my league. Oriel yeah. is part of the league. And look, I just... I think uh, he needs to go because I'm not. I'm not going to stand for that. I've lost total respect for him. Uh, look, I, I'm just fuming, Keith. I really am. Yeah. No, I think he needs to go as well, Keane. And um, I just think it's it's probably going to upset a lot of people as well. Let's be honest. Not just you know he's going to upset a lot of people that put in work into the league as well and things like that. But. Um, He's just, he has to come out and apologise, but um, I don't know what way it's going to work there. But Waterford, I think, it's another problem, by the way, that Waterford don't need, incidentally. Um, like, look, by the way, the point, geez, I was gonna make, the point I was going to make, sorry, Keane, quickly, was he's getting paid by this pub league as well. Look, I, I just, I can't get my head around it. Look, this is the attitude of 
I'd say the guts of maybe two and a half, three million people in Ireland. This is the attitude. We don't need this. We don't we don't need people like this in the league. Oh, we don't want them. I know for a fact, look, result aside, Waterford fans are gonna be fuming. Obviously they're gonna be delighted. Look, taking no, nothing away from the side, they play fantastically well tonight. The, the game uh, is a, relevant completely yeah. to this. Yeah. And Absolutely. what I'm saying is look, look, it's a bad night for Waterford. Uh, game irrelevant like obviously they put in a fantastic performance they were superb tonight and all credit to the players uh, but John just lost my total respect I think he lost the respect of a lot of people in the league he needs to come out and he needs to talk because look Keith there is two sides to every story uh, but at the same time he has to come out and back this up whatever he says and I don't think he will I think he's had to go on a step too far uh, he's, he's had a born and bridges with a lot of people now and uh, if I'm the Waterford chairman, if I'm power now, I want him gone. If he's slagging my league, like, look at this as well. He's probably lucky the fans aren't allowed into the league because if he was still in a job next Friday night, let's say, whoever they're playing, or actually to play Tuesday against Sligo, could you imagine the abuse he'd get there? Yeah, no, Keith, look, imagine, now just as well, look at it, look at the money that people put into this league. Never mind the time, never mind the effort. He's not there for nothing. He's not there for the little paycheck either. Imagine your lead power now and you'll see your manager coming out and saying that. And yeah, and he's on big wages. He's not going to be there for nothing. And look, it's just, it's disgraceful. It's disrespectful. I think he should be ashamed of himself uh, coming out and talking about our league like this. It's our league. It's up to us fans. We have a duty of care as fans. The teams have a duty of care. And we all need to look after this team and look after the leagues as best we can. Because... We need to get these type of people out because this is what's wrong with Irish football. These are the people that are dragging this country down in Irish football. There's no reason why this league can't be successful. But it's people like him that's in the league that needs to get out. 100%. Keen, thanks very much. And guys, what do you think down in the comments? Let us know what you think. And uh, if you haven't heard the audio, I'm sure it's on Facebook by now. So give it a listen. And thanks very much. Like, subscribe and click your no bell notification button. Thanks very much, guys. See you now.